Well, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. Welcome to episode number three of our U.S. Navy campaign on War on the Sea using the Pacific Mod, and the hunt is on. We are hunting for a Japanese fleet carrier. Tautog encountered the uh, fleet carrier in the last episode. We put three fish into her. 50% uh, dud rate. It's better than historical. So there's a damaged carrier out there. Um, as you saw, we have our orders changing tambor from a patrol pattern up here uh, to a pursuit or intercept pattern. Uh, Trout is also moving to intercept with the Tautog heading kind of towards truck to see if they can't um, bring them about over here. They were heading north uh, just in terms of their retreat. So uh, hopefully we can kind of triangulate their attack and get them in the middle. So like how I use that big word, like I know what it means, triangle. Close enough. You get the idea. Anyway, that is the plan for the Trout, the Tambor, and the Tautog. Uh, Triton is headed down to patrol north of Rabal. And the Thresher is uh, kind of screening out in the Marshall Island, Gilbert Island area. We have the Kokoda Express with uh, three... Uh, or two transports, two destroyers, carrying troops and supplies to reinforce Port Moresby. Uh, our invasion fleet, Invasion 1, and I will work on these names. I will change these names. Don't worry. It's heading down to Tarawa to uh, take that. A uh, couple suggestions I got that I'm going to uh, implement. Um, the next uh, fleet that we put together is going to be a fleet of... Uh, destroyers. Uh, we're going to use those to shuttle, uh, quickly shuttle groups and supplies down to uh, New Guinea. The base supply force, um, well, the name says it all. They're headed to Wake. They're going to drop off what they have, the supplies, engineering, and fuel. Uh, they're going to run back, get more, and we're going to build this up to uh, if I can get it up to a level 5 without absorbing too many resources, uh, I will do that. But um, at least a level 3. A uh, couple people in the comments of the last video asked what the air assets available at Wake are. Uh, I have no idea. I'd like to know myself, but when we took the base and we had the air available, the... Darkness had fallen, and we are not able to see. So once uh, 5 o'clock in the morning hits, we will uh, check it out and see what we have. Uh, we have no tru no supplies, engineering, or fuel there, so uh, if I were to guess, I'd say it would tell us what we are going to get, but we are not going to have them just yet. Uh, as far as the troops on wake, I'm going to leave a garrison of 500. And then I'm going to uh, either move them down to Tarawa to assist in taking that, or uh, possibly out to Kazre and maybe Pompeii. Pompeii, I guess. With the ultimate objective being Truck. Uh, Pompeii, Kazre, Tarawa all provide the Japanese with a decent amount of air coverage in here, so. Uh, if we can get them out of the way, uh, we should be free to kind of cut the corner a little bit on our way down to the Solomons. I haven't really decided what the um, long-term plan is for getting in here and retaking all these. I do know I want to reinforce Port Moresby and Milne Bay. Um, at some point, truck is going to become our uh, primary objective. I figure if we can build up uh, three or four here, three or four here that'll give us good uh, coverage out in this area and then out in this area here uh, truck I do want to have a uh, level three port at least and as much air cover as I can that'll pretty much take care of this down here um, we do have long 
long, long range bombers up here at Midway. Uh, so I'd like to have the same down here. Uh, as far as anything past this line, I have no idea. We're taking steps and the first step is to draw the line here, then move the line forward. Um, Saipan, Tinian, and Guam. Actually, I think it's just Saipan and Guam. Yep. Uh, that will give us good air cover here. It, once we take here and make some inroads into the uh, Solomon Islands, we can uh, start thinking about the poor Philippines and our poor now 1,600 troops about to go on the uh, Bataan Death March and take a whole lot of supplies with them. That's the plan going forward, but the um, focus right now, at least for this episode, is finding that carrier. So we're going to get things moving and see what we can come up with. Okay, 5 o'clock in the morning, real quick, to answer everyone's question. Uh, yeah, nothing. But this is what we're going to have available. Uh, Wildcats, Avix. Take a look here. 100 pound bombs. Havix. Bombs. Uh, B-17s. Be nice to have. These are the ones with the range. But, yeah. For the time being, we don't have anything until we can get some uh, supplies up there to uh, get them built up. But that is what we have, or will, eventually. All right, so a couple days have passed. Uh, we have not sighted the carrier. Uh, we did have some planes uh, down in through here. Um, scouts. So I'm assuming there may be something up in this area. Uh, we did drop off what we have. So we'll hopefully get some planes. Uh, Tambor here has an engagement with... It says it's a... Um, Supply convoy, two ships. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can see which direction they head. Oh, and they head right at us. So we'll get into this here. Uh, Tambor, let's make sure you don't have your. You don't even have a spotlight. So for me, periscope depth, scope up. It is mighty dark. We have two contacts, get Tambor turned, uh, get that scope down. Like we got, uh, we have two merchant ships? We do. We have two merchant ships. You are not armed. I believe this guy is. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. All right, so number two is going to be our primary target. Let's uh, identify her first. Eleven thousand yards out, we got plenty of time to uh. Get into position. Oh, let's see what you may be here, my friend. May not even be a merchant, it may be a oiler. Not you. That's an oiler. It's got to be an oiler. Say that would be Kio Maru. Right, Kio Maru. I'll identify this guy. Big stack in the middle. Moy Maru. Okay. 
just misidentified the wrong one. Great. All right, well, do that and then switch you back to uh, who you were. Amber's going to get into position. She's going to uh, take a strike at the uh, Kyo Maru. Then uh, possibly come to the surface and use the deck gun. This other guy. Because he doesn't have any guns and he can't shoot back. So why not? All right, so about as good as it's going to get, 52%. Uh, I can't turn my radar on because I need to be surfaced, but we are uh, now 2,100 yards out. Six torpedo spread of two degrees. Fire. Let's see how these torpedoes do. And they go out there. They're banking. I'm hopefully the spread doesn't spread so much half of them miss. And if you're wondering, I am going to keep track of the hits and the duds. So then at the end of the campaign, however long that may take, we'll tally it up and see what kind of percentage I actually get here. But our torpedoes are moving in. Uh, they don't look bad. So far, they are completely unaware of us. And hopefully it stays that way until something goes boom. All right, two hits, three duds, one miss. I just got a pretty good fire burning right now. Um, listed as being heavy and moderate on the damage. Now it's heavy and heavy, so she may go down on her own. Uh, I am kind of swinging around to give our stern tubes a shot here. Um, if we just lost her, of course. That's unfortunate. But I guess we could always come back. I don't want to surface. Burn tubes 32. I'm going to go with a uh, crease on a one degree spread off our stern tubes. I'm actually we're gonna go manual fire with this. He is not moving at all. Dead center. Fire three. Fire three out of the stern tubes. Eventually we're gonna have to uh surface to get some speed built up. Where those torpedoes go. They look like they're uh, heading pretty st pretty straight towards the target unless they decide to turn on us. Uh, we are pursuing the MOA Maru out here going 15 knots. Uh, once we bump up to the surface, we should be able to catch up with them uh, fairly quick here. 20 knots on the surface, so uh, we will be able to get... Uh, High explosive into them. See how the uh, stern tubes did. 
not moving. Oh. Also, while turning, go this way. All right. Burning off in the distance. One dud. Two duds. Three duds. One, two, three. Dud, dud, dud. All right. Ah. Uh. Have anything loaded in our bow tubes yet? We got one. We're 3,000 yards out from the. Uh, he has no bow guns. No guns on his bow means he can't shoot at us. If we're in front of him. Sure as hell can shoot at him. Yo, Maru. Amber, come up to the surface. Fire. Fire that deck gun. At least hopefully they can't shoot at us. It doesn't look like their guns are even trying here. You gonna shoot, Tambor? Oh, you're... Shoot. I don't understand why she's not shooting. There we go. I had uh, some success with the uh, the deck gun in my last campaign. Of course, if we miss, I'm gonna do this myself. Thank you very much. Now we do get command points for all ships sunk, uh, so every target counts. I want to get both of these guys down. We're going to pop them away with the deck gun. Cause some damage here and move on to the other ship. It would have been nice to be looking at. Oh, she's probably done. Hold your fire. Turn your radar on. Critical and critical. And there she goes. All right. Ambor, you got some catching up to do, so go catch up with, uh... Catch up with the Kamoi Maru. Best possible speed, my friend.
Okay, two command points gained for the sinking of those two ships. Uh, Tambor is going to continue on her patrol. Um, did redirect Thresher up here uh, to see if we can find out where those scouts are coming from. Um, but, whoops. Now that screwed that all up. All right, well, just redo it like this. See if we can find those uh, enemies up in here. Uh, Tambor. I'm going to continue with a patrol like this. Route's on a good patrol pattern. Tautog is well. 15 torpedoes left for her. I uh, expended a bunch of deck gun ammo, but that is okay. Uh, we are... Looking at, if we follow this course here, still too soon. The 12 hours right here would put us at four o'clock in the afternoon. Six o'clock, bring it up a little bit. So 14 hours would be six o'clock, 30. Hey, that's going to be kind of rough. Yeah, I want to get in and get out before daylight. So five, seven, 12 hours, 17 hours. All right, so that should put us there in darkness at Tarawa. Uh, getting out might not be so easy, but we'll deal with that when that happens. Meanwhile, the Triton is down here taking up station north of the fall. They did spot our scouts in our invasion fleet, uh, so they are moving in. Uh, we're going to have to do some quick, quick maneuver in here. All right, Harris was struck by a dud and a regular uh, Dewey. going to... Just assume we're she's going after the Colorado. This is the first wave of the attack, so okay, let's see how Colorado got hit. Direct hit by two bombs. Uh Looks like the only ones that got hit are the Harris. One down here. That's minor damage. And uh, Colorado, which has uh, minor damage, but it's all fixable. Uh, meanwhile, these guys are on their way back. They're smoking. But... They're... <laughs> Going back without the results that they were hoping for. Put it that way. The hell with them. Now, I'm, having said that, I'm sure this isn't the uh, the only attack we're going to be uh, suffering. So we're going to get our uh, ships back into formation. Get our damage repaired. Uh, probably change course. And uh, hopefully make it tonight. That would be... Uh, it would be ideal we can make it tonight without any more air attacks, but my hopes for that are slim to none. They have a level three, so uh, torpedoes inbound would be my guess. All right, surprisingly enough, they missed us completely with everything. They kept going south. I was heading south down this way, but I turned around. You saw that. Well, maybe you didn't. I don't remember if I showed it or not, but I did turn around and come up here. And they kept heading south, so... I'm okay with them uh, losing sight of me here, because now we're about to uh, drop off some troops and some cargo here. Alright, so Tarawa... They could use some more troops. 
And this is going to hurt, but... There we go, that's all we have for them. Now they're going to start the long 107 hour trek back. Um, next time uh, troops are available, these... Probably should have pulled some off with these guys. Well, that'll be what our destroyers are for. When we get our points in one day, we'll grab as many destroyers as we can, run them out to Wake, and then bring down, bring them down to Tarawa. Uh, not quite halfway with 2,700 troops, so that could be a long fight for Tarawa, which in reality it was kind of bloody. Nothing's easy that's worth taking. And this is on the way out. So they're uh, hitting at us as we're on our way out. Not entirely sure who they dropped on, but I'm going to start turning the Colorado. Oh, they hit the Harris up there. Honestly, if they want to hit the un, uh, unloaded cargo ships instead of my battleship, by all means, waste your ammo. But everyone's maneuvering right now, for the most part. Gotta see where, like, they might be going for the Dewey with this run here. Kinda disappointed we're not getting more uh, hits with our AA. A lot of AA, though. Not really sure where any of the uh, bombs are falling. There we go. There's some. Fell on the Atlanta. Who's putting up a lot of flack. We got another group coming in. They are right there. And our cargo ships are shooting at him. Oh, we got a lot of them coming in. Wow. Oh. They missed. Huh. These don't run into us, into uh, our battleship here. Our formation just went to complete crap. Like they may be making either a run on the Arcturus. For the Colorado. Yep, Colorado took uh, one dud. Doing some of them down. A positive thing. Us. You continue to turn, make sure you don't run into Dewey in the process. Farragut, Polly, and you. Let's check your damages. Uh, General. Ah, that's cargo, so going to have to be released. Uh, meanwhile, none on the uh, Colorado. We should be okay. All right, so that is the five or the six thirty. We did knock them down to a level two. Uh, they still have a lot to uh, attack us with, and we have nothing that we can uh, put in the skies that has any range to get down there and protect them. So I'm going to change course once again and see if we can't throw them off. Okay, here they come with the torpedoes. Uh, Let's uh, take control of the Dewey, spin her, try and bring her out over here. Uh, Atlanta, want you to slow down. 
Uh, everyone else is moving very quickly. Farragut. Come over. Cut across to everyone's bow. Um, we're going to try and get the uh, anti-aircraft uh, screen up pretty heavy here. But here they come. Not sure. It looks like they may be going for the terrace here. Atlanta is not in a position to offer support. There's only six of them, but... Six... Six or twelve torpedoes, that's... That's the thing. You're gonna be able to dodge them all. all right, Harris... Dewey, you need to move a little faster here. Um, they're gonna hit this, uh, hit this Harris. If we're not careful, they'll hit the Atlanta too, so we're gonna speed her up. Uh, Fairy gets moving into position. Right, they did drop. Uh, that might not be good. Oh, we may be taking torpedoes. I'd almost rather have them hit this cargo ship here. Oh, they did. <laughs> All right, Atlanta, you got to turn. All right. Turn back. You look like you're okay. Colorado looks like she's probably okay. Harris is another story. Only two of them left. And Harris is moving pretty good, considering. There go the torpedoes here. Uh, we should be okay. As long as they don't come in on this Harris. Um, yeah, we should be all right. Got everybody on a northern course here. Get everyone broken. Have everybody head north. Uh, heavy damage, heavy flooding, fires everywhere. I don't think this Harris is going to last. Oh my god, there's more? Who are you? Oh, a float plane. Alright. You head north. 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 Arcturus. North. Holly. Rado. This is a wave of float planes. Alright, well, Farragut and Atlanta are both in a pretty good position to hit these dastardly float planes as they come in to attack us. There's that one down. And the next wave is right here. shooting these guys down. There's one. Did they loose their bombs? Not yet. There they go. On the Colorado, their little handheld bombs hopefully don't do too much damage. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Isn't going to move out of the way in time. Bump. Wow. That's kind of surprising. Explosion. Got down another one. Minor damage.
Uh, let's keep you moving. Right, everyone's heading in the right direction. This Harris might not make it. Heavy and heavy. Alright, I'm gonna get the uh, damages fixed and get back to the strategic map. Hopefully, we can get out of here. I mean, it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. We're pretty far away, so. But we got that Harris to worry about. She's definitely gonna be done for. Better than the battleship, right? Okay, we did uh, get our weekly allotment of. Groups and supplies, and as promised, we are going to throw together a relatively cheap yet capable uh, here. We got 48, we could get six, nothing cheaper. This. I don't know how many troops they can carry. Oh, there's only two of them. Okay, I'm going to cut in here. Uh, something happened to the last couple minutes of this recording, and it uh, didn't pick everything up. So uh didn't really miss anything. I just threw together a transport convoy of nothing but destroyers. Um, called it Fast Transport 1, loaded it with uh, troops and some supplies, and sent her down to Tarawa. Well, we didn't find the carrier that I had hoped for, but we did uh, put two transports on the bottom. We got a couple command points for it. Um, it's progress, and progress in the right direction, so I'll take it. Anyway, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to follow along through our U.S. Navy Pacific campaign on War on the Sea, hit the subscribe and we'll pick this up again in episode number four. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.